I'm Kevin Williams and I'm on a mission to explain why science matters to motorcyclists via my 60 second science short video series. Last time out we took a look at drag and how motorcycles actually have a drag coefficient many times worse than the average car. In fact a typical naked motorcycle is about as aerodynamic as a house brick. Sorry BMW fans. At highway speeds the aerodynamic drag of a standard motorcycle is three to four times its rolling resistance. This impacts performance and fuel consumption, machine stability and creates rider fatigue at higher speeds. So how can we reduce drag. Start with clothing. If your jacket and trousers flap in the breeze they're creating drag. It's no coincidence racers wear body fitted clothing. Zip up jackets, tuck away scarves and fasten belts and cinch straps. It won't make a huge difference but every little helps. But don't bother with a hump. They're only effective in a racing tuck combined with a helmet with matching profile. But should your helmet vibrate or is noisy, it's probably not very aerodynamic. It's hard to recommend any specific helmet, but studies suggest most of the noise is created in the chin bar area. In my experience, chin curtains can reduce turbulence and noise. Big panniers disrupt airflow and create a lot of drag. If you don't need them, remove them. Top cases on a rack at the rear of the bike are even worse and can destabilise the bike at speed. If you're not using it, take it off. Adapt your riding position. Tucking in elbows and knees makes a surprising difference. If you're carrying a passenger, get them to sit close behind you to minimise the gap. Best of all, ride behind a fairing. Many long distance riders choose bikes with bodywork to minimise fatigue. Even if you ride a naked, there's nothing to stop you fitting your own. A small fly screen will reduce wind blast considerably. <laughs> 